in this video, we are going to look at the common topical areas examined in all level chemistry paper two, as far as your NEB current setting is concerned. Now, the first topic that is ever there in our chemistry all level paper two is mole concept. So under mole concept, they're ever bringing question on empirical formula and molecular formula. That is question, they always bring one question that is question in section A. It is either question number four or question number six. So when you're going for your paper two, all level chemistry, always check for question number four, question number six, section A. And the second topic is enthalpy changes. So under enthalpy changes, what we call thermochemistry, there is always a question on enthalpy of combustion. Of course, they bring one question. That question in section A, if it is to come in section A, it is ever question number nine. If not number nine, then question number 10. Or if it is to be brought in section B, then either question 13 or question 14. But of course, in uh, paper two, you must always get a question on enthalpy changes. That is enthalpy of combustion. Now, the third topic is electrolysis. So there must always be a question on electrolysis. They always bring one question. If they are to bring in section A, it must be in question number six or question number seven. So sometimes if it is not in section A, then they bring in section B. But in most cases, it is brought in section A. The fourth question uh, topic is that is organic chemistry. So under organic chemistry, uh, we the, 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 the key areas we need to uh, revise into detail are alkanes, alkenes, and alcohols. Of course, most cases they like bringing question on these three areas, these classes of hydrocarbons. Of course, now under this, they bring one question. And that one question, if you have to bring, of course, in section A, it is either question number eight or question number seven. But in most cases, it is question number eight in section A. So when you're going for your paper two, please revise organic chemistry into detail, and especially alcohols, alkenes, and alkanes. Now, the fifth topic is atomic structure and chemical bonding or periodic table. Now, there is always one question. Of course, in section A, that is question number two, as far as the current set setting is concerned. Question number two comes from that area. Question, uh, the next topic is rates of chemical reaction. Of course, under rate of chemical reaction, there is always one question in section A. And if it is to be brought in section A, that is question number seven, or in section B, question number 13, if at all it is not brought in section A. The seventh topic that is acid bases and salts. Ha. This is the most interesting topic. And under this, there are very many marks. Of course, under acid bases and salts, it has been categorized into four different areas. One, which is automatic question, you'll also get a question in section B. Under this topic, that is preparation of salts, either soluble or insoluble salt. That is question number 12. Question number 12 is ever on that area. And then, if I told that to bring two questions, then one question again may come in section A. That is either on effects of heat on salts of group one, group two, group three, maybe uh, maybe a question on uh, effects of heat on copper two nitrate, those 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 uh, those salts, you know them in too detail. Or they can bring a question on effects of heat on a mixture of compounds or elements, or a question maybe on solubility of a mixture of compounds. So you have to revise this area into detail. Of course, you always get two questions on that, and this is the area which carries. Uh, more marks as far as paper two setting is concerned. Because you're supposed to state observations, you're supposed to write well balanced equations. There are very many marks which are awarded in this area. Now, if eight topic is metal extraction, of course, under this area, there's only one question, and in most cases, it's brought in section B. So, under metal extraction, you have to be vast with extraction of two metal that is, extraction of iron, uh, extraction of iron either from hematite, what we call iron, iron uh, three oxide. Or spartic iron, what we call iron uh, two carbonate or magnetite, that is tri iron tetraoxide. Or there must be a question on extraction of sodium from sodium chloride. So you have to be well versed with this, of course. In section B, that is question number 13 or 14. Question number 13 or 14 must always come from that area if it is in section B, of course. Uh, the next one is laboratory preparation. Uh, under this one here, we always have two questions. So please, when you're going for your paper two, as far as the current setting is concerned, please revise laboratory preparation of gases into detail. Uh, topics like oxygen and its compound, topics like nitrogen and its compound, uh, chlorine and its compound, carbon and its compound, sulfur and its compound. You must always get two questions on this area. One question, of course, will come in section B. That is question uh, 11, automatic question, question uh, 11. You must always get a question on that area. And then the second question, if it is come, of course, it comes in section A, question number nine or question 10. In most cases, as far as the current setting is concerned, please revise this topic into detail. The next topic, of course, that is qualitative analysis. In paper two, there is application of this qualitative analysis idea. So please revise your qualitative analysis very well, not only for paper three, but also paper two. Section A, of course, question number five or question number 10 will always come from that area. 
Then the next topic, of course, make, uh, that is mixtures and pure substances. As far as the current setting is concerned, that is question, uh, one question will always come. If it is to come in section A, of course, question number one or question number three. If they are to bring in section B, question number 11, but it is rarely brought in section B. So please be very careful with that area. Always question number one or question number three, pay keen attention to that. And finally, uh, there must always be a question on redox reaction, what we call oxidation reduction reaction, or a question on displacement reactions. Of course, one question will always come in section A, that is question number seven or question number nine. So generally, these are the key 12 topics that you need to revise into detail, the key 12 areas for you to pass all the work paper two very well and with a very good scores. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you're updated uh, with our current posts.